Did you know this was the first concept art of Duran during development? No? Well, now you do. Anyways, ever wondered how game artists make beautiful sprites as seen in Chrono Trigger and Psychedelic 3? Then you're in the right video because I have no clue and I'm trying to figure this out as well. I am a beginner who never did pixel art, but is familiar with drawing and painting. I am planning to record my attempt till I'm as good as Bruce. Here is the process I made so far and I want to explain the goal which I had with each sprite. Let's dive in. So I started off with Duran, creating an overlay of his body with general colors. I quickly realized this sucked as the art was quite big. So I did a second time after scaling it down to a bit more pixelated size. The idea was to get a general sense, how the heck do I make this? The second attempt turned out as an empty, no outline, soulless Duran. So I thought, okay, let's do a different character in the same dimensions and model, in this case, Klaus Stripe. I started with drawing like the last two, and then separated it from Duran to try to fill in what I thought was natural looking by choosing different and obvious colors. Unfortunately, it resulted in a rugged cloud doll. Thus, I thought, F it, let's learn something new before proceeding. I checked another YouTube channel called Brandon James Greer which talked about U-shifting, who put out an excellent video on this topic. To put it simple, it's shifting color instead of only brightness, which adds a new dimension to your color palette. So, for example, yellow can slowly change into green or red depending if you want a cooler or warmer tone, which will pop out your colors. So I tried to draw Duran for a third time and started with a general color layer and then add light or dark version on top of it. Even though it worked decent, it didn't have the real contrast. It looked watered down compared to the original. Hence, I decided to increase the contrast by adding an outline and checked another tutorial which explains that making a quick character posture at the start will help. So I started with Cloud's outline which really defined him and popped him off, but turned out to be a crappy sprite, as should. So I decided, okay, let's do a character I know by heart, my personal OC, Alexis. I want to include all her characteristics on a tiny scale, which is really cool to do. However, she turned out like Cloud. The contrast is decent, the coloring is okayish, but the technical skill level is rubbish, as I really drew an outline and just filled it in like a child. So I decided to check another great character and style, Chrono, which is a bit taller and less deformed than the Psychedelic two characters. Again starting with an outline, however, this time I softened it through lowering the opacity in a separate layer. In another layer, I start to color over it. This made it easier as Krona has a very neat body outline which can be clearly observed. However, his eyes are quite weird if you look at it long enough. The major thing I liked is the shadowing. Even though still watered down and now low contrast, it still looked like a decent attempt. Next. I tried Duran again, now in the style of Chrono, or so I thought, as this one wasn't much of an improvement. The outline was too strong and the character felt forced and not authentic enough in any way. This made me wonder what I was missing, well it occurred to me. I wasn't using the original color palette of the Chrono Trick game, so I made the color palette for this sprite and was ready to give it another shot. I started with drawing him again and filling the base colors first and then adding the highlights and different tones on top, while fine tuning the contrast. The final version is still not authentic and more a bad resolution of sprites from a watered down port. So it comes quite close to the first cheap ass release of the PC version. If you have suggestions, cool pixel art channels to check out or want to share your experience with pixel art, just let me know in the comments. I plan to create animations with it after I got to a decent level. And I love to learn from pixel art that inspires me even though they are beyond my skill level. Anyways, thanks for watching and stay awesome.